we get to see koalas and wombats and uh, wallabies and lots of other fun stuff. So come along with us and see what we find. Sanctuary where Peter can finally see his kangaroos. What? It's koalas. Uh. I need to take a nap in the meantime. So the uniforms they're wearing here, at least what we saw so far, totally reminds me of Crocodile Bundy. This Apparently is, it's like the zoo outfit. Yeah, and this is awesome to be here. So we had looked at another um, koala sanctuary that was close down to um, Gold Coast area. And that was about $50 per person to go, and it was just koalas. Um, now here, it's a koala sanctuary, and it's um, 36 Australian dollars for us to go to, but they have more than just koalas here. I'm so glad that um, Brian, who we met on Saturday, um, had let us know his family apparently loves coming here. Look how big these guys are. It was a huge bat. Massive. Hey! He looks happy. You are so happy to see me. He's a curious bye -bye. fellow. Oh, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Did He's you hear so it? Much. It just said bye-bye. Bye-bye again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> that was awesome. Usually you can pay extra to um, get your picture with a koala. But unfortunately, it sold out today. It actually, it's fortunate for us because we did not want to pay extra. So they're doing a free petting at um, 3.30. So we're gonna do that. So crazy, platypuses can only hold their breath for up to a minute. So they are considered an unusual species of mammal. This is the eastern brown snake. It's the second most venomous snake in the world. And it's native to snake. Australia? Apparently. What? Good thing we're leaving today. <laughs> Hi! What are you trying to do? You're good at a show. Look at you getting around. I like your hairdo. Yeah! Out, you're doing the head banging. You are a star for sure. So many cool birds. Because, yeah, this is not that far if it could jump. You know, it reminds me of um, the RUS from Princess Bride. Oh, yeah. Right? Totally. Got the idea. totally. Carnivores always say maybe that they only eat it, sees the opportunity to find something that is already dead. Carrion or roadkill, something like that would be a great meal for them. Just like that. We'll be going in the bunny and they'll have a lot of fun chasing each other. Oh man. Um, stealing it and that's what we try to aim for is a lot of competition, a lot of tearing and sharing because that's what they would be naturally. When they get to the middle, it's not going to be quite like Lady in the Tramp, probably. On to koalas. <laughs> it's a koala! They're everywhere! They're all over. Peter, you're seeing real life koalas! Pretty sweet. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> This is our first time ever seeing real life koalas. I don't think I've ever seen them in a, a zoo. He just looks kind of grumpy. He looks very grumpy. <laughs> He's only hanging on by one hand right now. Look at that one inside of the tree. Oh, you're so close. Hi, dude. Look at him. Oh, a mother and baby. Baby on the back. Just like, just like the statue, huh? Yeah, look how cute that is. 
Coming. That's the cutest thing. This is so cute in here. And it's so crazy that there's like no fence barriers, but I guess I don't fear that they're gonna go anywhere because they just stay in the eucalyptus tree and they move so slow. They're everywhere, this is so cool. Like <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and, oh, I didn't even see the it's one like here too. Idea. What? You just enter here to feed the kangaroos. 130 kangaroos in here, what? Literally, we can just go up to them here and touch them. This is crazy. Oh my goodness. This, is this real life? Okay, so let's get a thing of grass. Just do it. It's soft? It's really soft. Nice. It's pretty soft, right? Looks like you're just had a good deer, you know? Oh my goodness. Oh, he's performing. They are so chill. You want a piece of grass? Piece of grass. Guys, I'm literally right here. It doesn't care. Yeah. Want some more grass? No, you want the real food. I didn't buy the real food, sorry. You are petting a kangaroo in Australia. Don't use it in the wild. No, but these ones are used to humans. Oh my goodness, it's so fluffy. It's really soft. Aw, you are so sweet. Yeah. I think if uh, they all had YouTube channels, they would all subscribe to Happy Hoppy because they're kangaroos and they hop. You must be a wallaby. Yeah. Look on this in case that there's a uh, snake that got in these high grasses. <laughs> yeah, you look really different, dude. What are you? A red wallaby? The grass is so high. It's freaking me out. So if the kangaroos get sick of being touched and pet, they can come here and uh, rest. They must know that because there are quite a few in here. Look at this guy. Why is it a joey? Oh, you think it's a joey? He's so cute. Hi, buddy. I'm just coming over here to the sign. The maximum height of the males when standing on their tail. So this is the height. The red kangaroo came up to that height. No. Let's see. I am about the height of common wallaroo. We are a little taller than the eastern gray kangaroo. Wow, look at these guys. Oh man, they look creepy. Their eyes freak me out. So now is when they're doing the free petting of koalas. So we're gonna go do that. All right, let's go wash our hands. Of course. All right, Peter, pull a koala. Oh my goodness, you're holding a koala. <laughs> and one's back. Oh my goodness. Byron. Byron. Byron? Uh, he's five. You're five. Oh, it's kind of coarse hair. You don't mind being No, no, no. They don't like their head or their ears, but their back uh, is very good. Yeah. Look, there's tons of koalas in there. There's a cute little guy right here. Koalas? Are they drunk? Are they lazy? I think not. Eucalyptus leaves are fibrous and low in nutrition. Koalas have adapted to their low energy diet by sleeping and resting for 18 to 20 hours a day. It is a popular misconception they are drunk or drugged from the eucalyptus diet. They are simply conserving energy. Can I use that excuse why I want to take a nap? I am just conserving energy. This is actually the first and the largest in all of Australia. So yeah, I did not realize that. So we definitely picked a good one to come to. Um, definitely come here if you are in the Brisbane area. Look at this wombat. Totally asleep. Oh, here we go. Oh, they do have interesting ears. Oh, wow. That just looks like a dog. So they are wild dogs. Oh, wild dogs. Oh, 
that turtle is like playing with danger, I think. This is so interesting. The turtle. I think they're friends. Of pigs. Nice and relaxing little walk through everything. It's cool that it has so many koalas. We got to touch one. Yeah. Got to pet the kangaroo. This is really cool because you have so many different animals. Um, it's set up super nice and they have like shows throughout the day. So if you came the whole day, like every half hour they have a different animal show. So you can really spend the whole day here. This is really cool. And we were able to see it all in like two and a half hours. And that was like going, oh, I almost stepped on that thing. I um, mean, that was going at a pretty slow pace. So yeah, you could see it really fast, probably in two hours, but you wouldn't really see any of the shows. Oh my goodness, these bats. These are foxes. flying foxes. They're huge. Oh, 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 those two are arguing. They were not this active two hours ago, but it is beginning to get dusk. <laughs> really fun and being able to feed the kangaroos that was just crazy all right now back down to the Gold Coast at the hotel that we stayed at the first night that we got into the Gold Coast um because we are flying out tomorrow at uh, 9 a.m. is our flight and so we have to turn the car back in at 6 30 so we just want to be down there um ready to go it feels like home we're going back to the same place it's like we're going back to a place we've already been how exciting oh so I realized hang on that, that I have to help Peter navigate first. In 900 meters, you can take a right onto the tree. Slow for Sam. Who's Sam? That's weird. Continue on M5 for four kilometers. So I realized I did not tell you where we were flying to tomorrow. So we are actually flying to Vietnam, but we have a 26 hour layover in Singapore. Now you may be wondering why we're going back to Singapore because we've already been there. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video as I explain the exciting reason that we are heading back to Singapore. So we found out that these yellow guys are actually speed cameras. Crazy. Some fun light fixtures. Talking with Darren this morning, who is Australian born and raised, he said, oh my goodness, you guys have to go through um, an Easter aisle while you are in Australia, because apparently their Easter candies are different than here. Chocolate hot cross buns. Nope. Maybe. No. Maybe. We didn't really love them. They're no. I that looks good. No, baby. That looks so good. What? Your own <laughs> rabbit. Get a rabbit. Yeah. Whoa. That is a lot of Easter. <laughs> it's all chocolate. It's all chocolate. Where are the jelly beans? <laughs> Huge egg. These are the, the really only the Cadbury's we ever see. They definitely have a lot more chocolate selection for Easter. However, there were a couple of things that were missing. My favorite, the Starburst uh, jelly beans. They didn't have any jelly beans. And I'm not a huge fan of jelly beans, but the Starburst ones I love. And the other thing was peeps. And there that's were no Peter's peeps. Favorite! Yes. Well, I don't think you're gonna have peeps this year, but Easter's still gonna come and go. And that candy is not the main reason of Easter. <laughs> main reason of Easter is definitely to celebrate Jesus' resurrection. And that's more important than peeps, chocolate, or Starburst jelly beans. That does smell like a skunk. I wonder if that's the smell of a koala. Yeah, what did you hear about koalas that kind of burst your bubble? We heard they're really stinky, so if that's the smell of one, it smells like a skunk. Um, the koalas did not smell that bad, so I'm smelling that smell again as we're getting close to the entrance. I don't know what it is, but it wasn't a koala. If I walk over this way, it'll come back. See? <laughs> See it climb with his beak? You're such a ham, man. I know! If you have a hairdo like that, that you can just like fluff up, would you do it? 
Yeah. Totally. <laughs> Have your tongue come out again. I missed it. That's the hard thing with animals. You gotta keep filming and hope to get something. I've never seen that before. That's cool. <laughs> uh, this is super strange. This is the men's bathroom. And uh, they just have it open here. Making it up as we go now.